Chocoholics by Sanda Mullen, Kelsey Riley, Rachel Trinan, and Carly McCain. There are several chemicals found in chocolate, and two of the main ones are phenothylamine, also known as PEA, and caffeine. Phenothylamine causes a change in blood pressure and blood sugar levels, which leads to feelings of excitement and alertness, and also works to increase mood and decrease depression, but doesn't result in tolerance or addiction to chocolate like amphetamines do. This compound also releases endorphins, which are natural feel-good chemicals in your brain, and these are also released when people fall in love, explaining the pleasurable feeling from eating chocolate. And caffeine is also found in chocolate in relatively small amounts, and it is an alkaloid substance found in leaves, fruits, and nuts of certain plants, and one of these is the cocoa tree, where caffeine is found in the seeds, which are called cocoa beans. Two more chemicals found in chocolate are anandamine and theobromine. Anandamine is a chemical similar to THC, which is a chemical found in marijuana. Both chemicals trigger the production of dopamine, which people associate with the feeling of being high. Chocolate also contains chemicals which ca causes the brain to break down anandamine slower than normal, thus making the high feeling last longer. Although anandamine and THC are similar, it would take 25 pounds of chocolate to achieve the similar high to that of marijuana. Theobromine has properties that may lead to mental and physical relaxation. Theobromine can also increase alertness, but can also cause headaches. It is a mild, natural stimul stimulant and a molecular cousin of caffeine, but doesn't strongly stimulate the central nervous system. While theobromine is safe for humans, other species, such as dogs and horses, lack the enzyme that metabolizes it, so they become overstimulated. This slide shows anandamine and THC molecules, and you can see that they are very similar because they have long carbon chains, and they are both chemically bonded to oxygen and hydroxide molecules. Here are some facts of chocolate on the brain. Over 300 chemicals that compose chocolate have numerous and varied effects on our bodies through, through the nervous system. Endorphins are released in the brain which chocolate is consumed. These same endorphins are also released when people fall in love. This is why chocolate is, uh, is so closely linked to Valentine's Day. Anandamide is derived from the word ananda, which is Sanskrit for and theobromine can be traced back to the Greek word theobroma, meaning food of the gods. Chocolate also releases a certain amount of neurotransmitters when consumed. A neurotransmitter is the molecules that transmit signals between neurons in your brain. Depending on the amount and type of neurotransmitters released, our moods can be greatly impacted by them. Happy neurotransmitters found in chocolate include endorphins and other opiates. These can help to reduce stress and lead to feelings of euphoria. Neurons are released and travel to react with the receptors in the postsynaptic membrane portion of the brain. Receptors react with particular molecules that can trigger, trigger different responses in the brain, and the proper neurotransmitters can trigger certain emotions. These are examples of neurotransmitters. Endorphins are one of these neurotransmitters. When you eat chocolate, levels of endorphins in the brain increase and work to lessen pain and decrease stress. Another neurotransmitter in your brain is serotonin. Serotonin is known as an antidepressant and is released by the chemical tryptophan. Lastly, these are the three chemical structures of some of the chemicals found in chocolate. As you can see, the structures for theobromine and caffeine are very similar in structure. And the last one is phenothylamine. These are not the three main chemicals found in chocolate, however, these are the three ones that help to stimulate your brain and create changes in mood and feeling.